guys know that she's been bitching about me behind my back. And so Previously on Australia's Next Top Model, when Sarah left the competition, Louise was left to fend for herself. Louise sort of bitched behind everyone's back. No, I'm sorry, not a bitchy person. The girls got back to basics to learn about trust and teamwork, which worked. Thanks everyone for helping. Yeah, yeah everyone's done a wicked We're a great team. But not for long. She just gave me lots of like teenage attitude next. Why does everyone bitch about me? Ebony's back injury almost forced her to leave. Simone won the luxury reward. But this is so good. I'm really enjoying it. But Mad scored the prize. Which sent fur flying at the photo shoot. If you think you can, your little fucking presence can fuck my existence by saying shit like that, you've got another thing coming. But in the end, Haranthi couldn't overcome her lack of emotion. I think that shot is particularly diabolical in every way. And was sent packing. Only seven girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? The girl who is still in the running to becoming Australia's next top model. It's Caroline. I think here we're going. I was kind of disappointed because I could see how much she was growing. Caroline should have been evicted tonight purely on the fact that her confidence this week has just, you know, plummeted. Dude, don't be upset, come on. I definitely don't think that I'd be in the bottom two. And I think the more I get criticised, the more I remember how good I am at academic. <laughs> Do you want to go home? Hi, Mummy. Hi, baby. I decided that I'm going to go come home. I can still have a good modelling career after this and I don't want you to have, like, the fantasy, like, view about it. Just think about everything first, all right? Mum, stop it. Okay. Don't be like that. I've thought about everything. Could you guys sit down? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on, babe? Is everything all right? Um, I've decided to go. I kind of wanted to explain to you, like, why I'm going. Basically, you guys all know, like, that I'm doing major singing mm. and everything, and right now, I think what I've realised is I have to stop looking at this like a fairy tale. I don't want to leave. Um, I really don't. And I know I could get really far. And I know you guys know that I have it in me as well. And I just want to thank you for hopefully understanding. Mm. I thought that that was incredibly selfish of her to do, incredibly, because her aunt thing could have stayed. And that pissed me off deep down inside. I think she probably realised that she wasn't going to go much further in this competition. There was definitely a level of leaving on her own terms and leaving without getting eliminated. And I don't really think of it as me walking out of the competition. I just think of it as me stepping forward. You know, I wish her all the best. However, I'm kind of very relieved that she's gone. Love you, babe. Bye. Bye. Caroline knew she was doing her HSC. Why did she come in here? Poor her aunt. Hey. Hello, guys. How are we going? Good. We've got a pretty active day today. We need our gym gear, we need our swimmers, towel, and bring some warm clothes as well. Okay. We might get cold. Okay, let's go. So off we went to the Bondi icebergs pools, which were beautiful. Guys, we're really lucky today. We've got Elka Graham here with us. For those of you who don't know, she's a dual Olympian. She's won a gold medal at every international event she's competed in. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Today we're here for two reasons. We're learning in the pool about control and movement. You have to know about being flexible, being able to relate your body to any circumstance. We're going to relate that to what you do in the pool, to what you do on the catwalk. Did you know in swimming, in this particular sport, it's the only sport that you use every single muscle in your body? It's ready, set, go. I don't think I'm a strong swimmer, but I guess a few of the girls are even worse. 
That's it. Keep going. Keep going. I hate swimming so much. We didn't put in, I guess, a lot of effort because I just, I was so like breathless. Come on, Louise. Let's go. Lara, you just keep stopping. Well, I'm not breathing. No, you don't forget to breathe. You just want to catch up with Louise. You got to just keep going. Just do this by yourself. I was trying to remember to breathe out underwater and then breathe in above water. I couldn't remember how to do it and it wasn't working. Best thing to do, I normally say, is bilateral breathing. One, two, three. You breathe this side and then you go one, two, three, and you breathe that side. Now try not to stop, okay? Now when you're kicking, imagine that your legs are go all the way up to your armpits to make your body move as much as it possibly can. Everything you notice, she'd lost the feeling in one of her fingers, so she went and spoke to Adam. Inside, inside the finger? Yeah, inside the oh, finger. That's Just tell me if you, if you can feel both of them. Do they feel the same? No. By the end of the conversation, she'd realised she'd lost feeling in her whole arm. We need to go and get it looked at. Yeah. Oh, we need to go get a doctor looked at. Yeah. It's not good to not have the feeling in the We don't finger. really know what's wrong with Ed. <laughs> Some people said that she may have had spinal injuries, so we all freaked out. I'm very upset for Ebony. You know, I didn't even know that she had a back problem. Like, I knew she had a back problem, but I didn't know what caused her everyday pain. She'll be fine. We were taken to the dance studio that we were taught how to um, catwalk in. Michael Boyd was there waiting for us. Hello there, ladies. Hi. How are we doing? Good. How's your catwalk all going? Good. Excellent. Good. All right, the main importance of today is for us to move more comfortably and confident in our own skin. We're going to give us a few hip movements and a few sort of body or arm movements. No, no, right. Boom, left. Being confident in your own skin and being confident with movement is so integral part of the modelling world because the client needs girls that'll just come on and do anything. Now you got to get low. Five, six. All of us obviously know how to dance, but we're a bit more club style, so we're not really pulling out the ballet arm moves or the weird head movements that he had going on. Shake it down, shake it all out. Yeah. Louise, I don't know what she was really doing. Standing up the back, laughing and pulling out and whatever else. Like, it's not really etiquette in any situation to do that. <laughs> I hate doing any of those dances. And for a modelling job, they're not going to pick a girl who can't dance. I know a lot of models and they don't have to do that. Okay, come on, stir it. Get low for me, come on. Yeah. Lara and I were about the only ones that took it seriously um, because we had a dancing experience and I had a ball. I had such a good time. I'm going to move on to just like a simple walk. But I'm going to add movement into it as well and give you some arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you go seven, eight. And then you just go with your hands. One, two, three. Cha -cha. Louise and I were like form team uncoordinated. <laughs> Team. Needs to look relaxed, not like these are my arms, robot girls, and dream. Okay, you're kind of getting this. You've just got to listen and relax because all I can actually say at the end is lucky she's gorgeous. Lara's main strength is actually in her eyes. You could almost not notice a walk even from looking at her eyes because that's her intensity there. Simone's gorgeous, you just have to love her. When she actually did do the movement part, she hit things and she still looked gorgeous. It was the in-betweens that were rough, so she's got homework and she's got work to do. Madeline's got the confidence, you know, that she's going to hit the mark, she's going to be strong, and she just has a good professionalism about her. Okay, if I saw that again, I'd want it to be a 10. We're at about 6 right now. We have to wrap it up for today, so... There's a fair bit of homework. You have to keep on this. As I said, it's only for your advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Some homework you need. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too hard.